Hey beauties, it's solar eclipse day and we are so excited because we are actually in the part of Texas that's gonna see full coverage. The kids are actually already outside waiting. They did get out of school on Friday and today. So it's been a really fun four day weekend. I'm gonna go out there and join them and walk on my Stairmaster for about 30 minutes, which I have been trying to do and I'm so proud of myself because I have kept up with the routine. Tomorrow, Josh and I are gonna finish off our kitchen island. We did actually start a home DIY TikTok and I'm really hoping that that does well because honestly I would love to be a home DIY channel. I'll leave the link in the description box below if you like home DIY content which speaking of I'll probably just end up spending the rest of the day editing for that TikTok because we did finish up the trim work on our island yesterday and tomorrow we're going to paint it so um stick around for that but i'm rambling because i do not want to walk on the stairmaster even though i know i need to so i'm going to clip my hair up and head out there with the kids almost time it's 137 oh there it is Oh, it's gone. Smaller. You're supposed to be able to. Two, one. Oh. Oh my God. Ah, ah. It looks like lights It does. <gasps> Look, there it is. You see that circle in the middle? That's the moon completely covering it. Oh, the cloud went over. Wow. Oh my God. It's beautiful. I hope it looks like nighttime. It does. Yeah, Dad can see it. It just shows how magnificent our world is. I know, right? It's starting to get light again. Bro, that is so nice. What do y'all think? Was that awesome or what? I can still see the eclipse. You can? Yeah. Oh my gosh, Josh just got done spraying the island and it looks so good. I have to go show you. It was totally worth it. I was kind of worried about painting the wood, but it's the island of my dreams now. And I just realized I need to shop for some new stools. But let me show you the island first. Taking a much needed break. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you deserve it because this island looks amazing. I am completely obsessed. Josh added the beadboard first and then did all the trim, which he was able to do in two separate afternoons. I would say if we tried to do this all in one day, it probably could have been done, but we just took our time with it and it came out so good. I'm obsessed, which this is the color that we ended up using. It's just an exterior black from Walmart but I decided to use that same paint that I did this arch wall with. I also use this color on our front door too so I like that it is matching throughout the house. Now I'm kind of thinking about repainting these walls and then I'm also thinking about redoing our backsplash with this tile. I think it'll really brighten up the space right here. I am planning on keeping the wood cabinets for a while we thought about painting them white but they are really a gorgeous wood color also these are the bar stools we have now which like I said I need to grab some new ones because they don't match this new island at all and they are pretty old they're starting to get worn down like in the corners here so we need to replace those anyway like I said we started a home DIY TikTok so if you want to see in depth how we did did this as amateur DIYers definitely go check out that page because I did do a breakdown of each step it looks so good it was so worth it we just got back from Walmart I had a couple of collabs to shop for so I got a lot but first I have to show you my new bag because I am obsessed and the shipping came so fast. I don't think you're ready because it is 
so good. I styled my outfit just so I could wear this denim bag today. I did get it on DHgate and honestly shipping was so fast. So there's the front detail which you do tie it closed. In the photo it showed a bow. That's how it looks with the bow tied. I've also just worn it like this honestly. There's the back and then the bottom. I didn't even take the tape off the bottom yet. The strap is also really cute and it's adjustable. It's got a little tab here to hold your straps down. Y'all, this is probably one of the best ones I've gotten. There is the inside with the logo. It has two little pockets here and a zipper pocket on the inside. Oh! It also has a little tag, which I was wondering what this was for. I'm guessing it's for the little tag. I'll leave the link in the description box below because it is so good and denim is so trendy right now. It did also come with this as well and the little attachment. This is gonna be my everyday bag for sure, especially in the summertime. I do have a big DH gate haul that I wanna share, but I'm still waiting on two more items that have taken forever. So hopefully they get here in the next week. But yeah, this one's totally worth it. Okay, so the first collab that I had to do was a beauty haul, which I found a lot of really cool beauty products. Walmart is doing their summer beauty sale right now. And I came across these. It's by Fruit Farm. It's called Sweet Cheeks and it's a tightening butt polish with mixed berries and retinol. I've tried like a cellulite cream and those just like heat up too hot for me. I do not like the feeling. So I don't really use those like heated cellulite creams, but I'm very interested to see what these will do, which this one is actually the Fruit Farm Watermelons Firming Boob Polish. And this one has watermelon and hyaluronic acid. You are supposed to use these in the shower. And then the last thing from this brand that I got was this Fruitcake Smoothing Shave Butter. It has acai and hyaluronic acid. And look how fun that is. And then I did need some hair stuff for Ellie, which she does have curly hair. And we came across this line, which I've seen the graphic tees that have this little unicorn on it. So she was excited when she saw this in the curly hair section. And this is actually their Magical Tresses Swirls and Twirls Curl Cream. It's kid friendly, rainbow, super fruit, infused and it says defines tames and softens all hair textures and i did also find this breath of fresh air kids detangler leave-in conditioner and it says let your curls breathe it has argan oil safflower oil veggie glycerin camellia seed oil macadamia nut oil and it's all natural and plant-based on the back right here it does say women owned so cheers to that and the last thing for ellie's hair i ended up grabbing this shea moisture coconut and hibiscus frizz free curl mousse with silk protein and neem oil moisture lock and curl define which i do also use mousse on brayden's hair because it's a little curly he's kind of got a little mullet going on and I try to make the curls come out on the back. I did end up grabbing this Soul by Jergens Sunless Tanning Face and Body Deeper by the Drop Serum. Hopefully it gives me a nice tan. You have no idea how excited I got when I saw that they have Bondi Sands in Walmart now. It's my favorite self tan and now I can just grab it with my weekly grocery store order. It saves me so much time rather than having to go to like Ulta and order it online and pick it up in store. I'm here for the easy access to the self tan. I did end up grabbing the self tanning foam one hour express. Then I ended up grabbing two face washes, which this one is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost with hyaluronic acid. It's a hydrating gel cleanser. They also had a milk cleanser that I was really close to buying. I don't know why. I just went with this one. I think this one was just a little bit cheaper. I actually haven't tried this face cleanser yet, but I do love 
love, love the moisturizer. It's like my holy grail moisturizer, especially if you have dry skin. So I am very excited to try this. I'm actually breaking out pretty bad right now. It's why I have all the fake moles drawn on. I think it's the cleanser that I'm using. I did also need a new facial scrub. I was using the Kapari one that comes in the little pot with the orange lid. I'll link it down below because I really love it. But this one I've never tried and I do love me some Mario Badescu. And again, I was so excited when I saw this brand in Walmart. They had the rose toner spray, the green toner spray. They also had the drying lotion and all of your favorite Mario Badescu products. I do typically exfoliate my skin about once a week, I would say, or when I feel like my makeup isn't laying right, that night I will exfoliate and it always helps my makeup just look a lot better the next day. I actually don't shave my face. I do wax my sideburns and shave like a little bit on top just around my eyebrows, which I do need to do a brow lift soon. I don't know, I feel like my mom really instilled in me that if I shaved my face, I would have like thick hair grow back and I'm terrified of that. So I haven't done it yet. But anyways, I did end up in the makeup section as well and I grabbed a few goodies starting with these cherry print nails how cute this is by the brand paint lab and I love their packaging but I also liked their nail selection I almost grabbed a strawberry one but Ellie talked me into the cherries which she was right it has the red tips on it they had a lot of really cute spring press-on nails which actually these are also press-on on nails. They're just the basic ones by Kiss. I'll probably put those on, I don't know, maybe next week or so because these are still doing pretty good. I saw a lot of body shimmers and I ended up going with this hard candy one because it said that it's transfer resistant and it has a fresh coconut scent. There was a bronzer one that Milani had but it didn't say no transfer anywhere and I do have this one that's really good and it smells so good. As far as makeup goes, I grabbed, first and foremost, I needed a new concealer. So I grabbed this Milani Conceal and Perfect one. I really love this one. It's a full coverage and it's also moisturizing so it doesn't like dry out my under eye area. I just ran out of this one, medium beige. I grabbed a light natural. It's gonna be super bright. This color might be a little too bright for me, but that's okay. We'll make it work. I had to grab a bunch of e.l.f. product, starting with this Halo Glow Beauty Wand Contour. I grabbed Tan Deep Bronze Deep. I feel like that might be too deep, but it's okay. It'll all even out when I blend it. Hopefully. I did also grab the Camo Liquid Blush in the color Coral Crush. So pretty. And of course, a lip oil. This one is the Glow Reviver and in the color Pink Quartz. They had a ton of really pretty colors. A red one, like a deep burgundy looking wine reddish color. A more orangey one. And I want to say a clear. Actually, I probably could use some lip oil right now and that smells good and then I did end up getting a contour blush highlight set this one's by Maybelline and I went with the medium to deep color option not gonna lie I bought a ton of clothes most of them are basics because I am gonna put together a basics Walmart haul but I wanted to show you what I got so this first free assembly little t-shirt it's nice and thick Great fabric, I like the cut, the high neck, and the sort of slim fit. I did grab a small and hopefully it fits. This was $12 and I know I grabbed it in a white as well. It'll pop up somewhere. And then No Boundaries had these little rompers. I went with the one that had the little corset on the front, but they did have a ribbed one that was pretty basic along the front and it did have a padded bra on the inside. I ended up getting 
two graphic tees which i do size up like three sizes in their graphic tees because i like a super oversized fit i had been seeing this one i finally picked it up i think it's so cute perfect for the summer and then this one how cute is that floral graphic i did also grab that in an extra large so this one's a double x and then this one's just a regular extra large they're so lightweight and soft and so good i'm gonna end up with every single one by the end of the summer. I grabbed this little baby blue ribbed super stretchy basic by No Boundaries. It went up to a size large and this was $6.98. It's like a longer line crop. I did also grab a white version of the navy blue free assembly just because I feel like this is the best kind of basic to have. Okay this next little ribbed knit tank top by no boundaries i did grab my regular size medium this was 9.48 and it also came in a black and the no boundaries basics even the ones that are folded down on the table are so good i had to hold myself back from buying those because i get them every year but i'm telling you they're very very good this next one hear me out i know it's not a basic because of the zebra print but it did come in a black i just couldn't help myself i'm loving this zebra print print right now it's by Sofia Vergara actually no it's not this is by time and true I did recently get a Sofia Vergara zebra print little chiffon swimsuit cover up and I feel like maybe this might be on trend this summer and this was only $7.98 it's a nice sort of like satiny feeling fabric speaking of basics that are folded down on the tables I did go ahead and grab two by time and true because I thought this beige and white striped t-shirt was super cute I don't remember how much they were. It couldn't be more than like $8. I don't know where my receipt is, but this is a nice fabric. They did actually have solids in this one. And then Ellie picked out this coral little t-shirt for me. It is a ribbed fabric. I did grab it in a size small. It's also by Time and True, and it was also folded down on the table. They had a lot of really cute colors in this one. A turquoise, a bright pink, a lavender all your basic whites and blacks grays olives and then i did also grab this time and true little maxi dress it has a tie on the waistline and it even has buttons right up here so if you need to cover up a little you can button that up but you could also wear it open and i'm sure it'll be super cute i went with the blue and white striped one because that's the one that ellie wanted me to get but they did have a really cute olive one that was just a solid and then they had a navy one that was really cute that had like little diamond print on it i'll probably end up going back for the olive one on because it was only $20 and these like linen dresses from Walmart are so good. I get them every year and I wear the heck out of them. I also came across this lightweight cotton little maxi skirt. They also had it in a few prints and also a black color. I went with the olive just because it feels summery to me over the black and this was only $6.98 but it's that really stretchy lightweight cotton fabric I like that it has a slit on one side I could probably even double this as a swimsuit cover-up I could wear this one dressed up with a cute top to church or if you work in an office you could totally make this office wear and then I kind of went crazy with shorts because they had a ton of cute options so of course we're gonna need denim shorts. I really loved the coloring on this one. These are by Sofia Vergara. I really liked the color of the shorts and the distressing in the front was super cute. These were $24.50 and I ended up sizing up to an eight, which I typically do in denim shorts because I do like them to be a little bit loose. They are also super stretchy. These are by Time and True. They have a four inch inseam. These were only 
$14.98 and I loved how light of a wash they were. I ended up grabbing these in a size six which I feel like Time and True runs a little big. And then I saw these like acid washed ones that were also very cute. I love a tie waist short. They did have multiple colors, which included a black, a pink, this olive, and I want to say a blue, like a turquoise-ish blue. And then these are super cute rolled hem waist tie little shorts which i thought were cute they were only 11.98 and they are a super thick denim sort of stretchy fabric i've been seeing these time and true cargos i think they are adorable i ended up grabbing the white pair because i do love a white pair of shorts in the summertime these were only 16.98 but they did have tons of other colors as well the last pair is this black linen pair they had other basic colors in this one they also had like a striped print that was super cute these were only $12.98 they did also have their linen pants that they come out with every year I didn't grab them though because they were out of my size that is everything that I got at Walmart oh my gosh I need a drink of sweet tea now I think that's gonna wrap up this video thank you so much for hanging out with me today keep a lookout for my try on haul because I am going to film that tomorrow so it should be up ASA. I did also order new bar stools for the island which I'm very excited for. Those should be delivered within the next couple weeks so hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Don't forget to turn on your bell notifications. Do you hear that? Yeah. The kids are a little too quiet for my liking, which means I've been in here talking to you for way too long. I'm going to go check on them. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.